Hello everybody, my name is Don Lawler. I am from Shreveport, Louisiana. And for your viewing pleasure, I'm tying what I call the Kamchatka Mouse. You start with Daichi Stinger Hook. This one's a three-aught. Because the hair kind of sticks out, you want a little bit of a gap there. Then you start with the thread base. And the thread base is there to give the foam body something to grab hold of. Now, this is nothing more than a strip of suede, if you can see that. I use a, a knife to do that. It makes a straight edge where you can kind of trim it to your liking. I've looked at the deer hair mice and all the other mice and they seemed all right, but I just wanted to come, come up with something different. So that's where I come up with this one. This is the abbreviated version of this mouse, by the way. The other one is kind of fancy, has eyes and ears on it, but the fish, I don't think they care too much. It's not like they're gonna give it a rating and kind of put it in front of a panel. If you can see that, it's, a, it's got a slot where that hook will ride in and you put your adhesive in there and stick it on there. Super glue. Just put it in there and just let it set up. Then you want to use your thread to kind of make a taper on the front where you can work it forward. And I've already got one tied up. Just like that. And now I'm going to show you how it's formed. I take a, a supple type of hide. This is gray squirrel. And I've cut it into a strip and it's cross cut. As you can see, the hide is running at a 90 to the direction of the cut. Take this. This is just a patch to cover up the tail section. <laughs> I'm using E6000 to make the hide stick to the uh, foam body. You can use a, a type of seam mender like you would uh, for fixing waders and whatnot, since it's waterproof. <laughs> it's a pretty straightforward fly. You're basically palmering the, uh, the fur around form of the body. Should help it stick pretty good.
And you just palmer it around the shape that you've uh, worked out. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Can you see it? Is it real to you? Cut a taper where we'll kind of overlap a little bit. I'm going to spin it a little bit so you can kind of get an idea how it looks. It's kind of. I've always been taught that the lower the fly, still sticks out a little bit, but that's because it's been sitting in the package for a little bit. You get a little more of this. E6000. Yeah, You just keep running it around. Have a nice base of adhesive on there. Match your your tapered seams there. And the condition of the hide is extremely important. If you have a very supple hide, it'll help you to, to form around the shape of the fly. Just make adjustments as you get to the front. This hide's kind of thick. Now, if you if you're using pine squirrel, pine squirrel is has a very supple hide, and it works real good. Make sure you got enough of an end where you can tie it off. about ready to capture it. On this particular fly I'm using Kevlar thread. Oh, I'm sorry. If the hair sticks out a little bit, just kind of Push it back and build a nose. The Kevlar thread works real good. You can really snug it down and secure your uh, fur with it. I like to do it twice because I just like to make sure. I 
I like to trim the bottom just to make the fly ride a little different. And there we go. The Kamchatka Mouse.